out to this. Oh, I love you guys. I love you. Shout out to this uh, hard ass head that I got. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but the show must go on. No. So here, here. here we are. <laughs> How are your guys' weeks? Smooth. Uh, shit, man. I feel like I don't have much to talk about when y'all ask me these these days. This <laughs> these days. But I've just been laying fucking low, working on little art projects. Hell yeah. Cool. I was painting all day today. That's awesome. Made these glasses. Them fucking bitches fire for real. They really are. I love it. Um, not made the glasses, but painted the glasses. Repurposed mm-hmm. them. For they sure. looked mad cheap. I just didn't want them to look cheap. So for sure, they I had definitely to, look sick. I didn't so realize shout out that to, they were DIY. Shout out to Joanne. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like it so much. I was, yeah. I was telling Nate he needs to start. He got to start selling sunglasses. Them bitches is hard. I'm thinking real. about it for real. He said I Nate's said black, sunglasses. I'm like, why Black-ray the man. most regular thing? <laughs> Nate's, Nate's sunglasses. You got the Nate. You got yeah. the Nate. You got the Nate. You got the Nate. Jacksons. You got some Nate. Jacksons on. There. Yeah. Oh, I see with those new Nate. Jacksons on. I like the Ray Ban. Black yeah. Ray Ban. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. You know. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad that you're being creative. Yeah, I'm creating. One of us has to, god damn it. Yeah, I'm creeping out of that winter, like, you know, inevitable depression, you know? Yeah. Not, not like I'm sad like that, but, you know, winter weighs you down, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. So as the sun comes out, I feel a little bit more inspired, you know? That's awesome. So, yeah. That's, that's that- where I'm at. It's yeah. back decent outside for yeah. real. I think it's yeah. gonna be steady back decent outside, yo. It's slowly creeping into it. Yeah. Me and you Evan definitely w- have to still wear a jacket on this mm-hmm. bitch, but me and Evan went hooping. Oh <laughs> yeah, Evan with the hoop, we was fucked up for real, yo. Tired as hell. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, we we was both sitting there drinking water. I was like, isn't it ironic? That the things that you have to do to not get a heart attack feel like you having a heart attack. <laughs> That's crazy. Especially with all our terrible ass habits. Yeah, for real. I know y'all niggas' chests were uh, tight. <laughs> no, uh, uh, we getting we get back right. <laughs> Make you think of that old asthma commercial. Sometimes I feel like a fish out of water. There you go, baby. It's y'all. <laughs> Yeah, respect though. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my homies with asthma. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> yep. He said, yep. <laughs> my handy dandy. <laughs> got it on deck. Yo, yeah, I got to start so well. I got to get that stamina up for when we start yeah, doing basketball that's days real. on Sundays. You guys oh, yeah. should like do jumping jacks really quick before you start. You have to warm up. Yeah, you got to warm, like, stretch. warm up your like. Oh, no, yeah, I stretch. I definitely stretch. Well, you got to warm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say y'all should do lat. Like, nah, that's doing was, a lot. But y'all can do like <laughs> 10 was, jumping jacks and be warm. Up, nah, it's loosened that, up. It's that uh, that stamina, G. My stamina all the way down. You know, like on 2K. And then, and then the stamina, my stamina is all the way down for real. It's loud. I be jumping. one bar. I be I be jumping, and my short my shot come up short. I be like, look, I'm like, I didn't go nowhere. I didn't get off the ground. I didn't go nowhere. What's your shot like? My shot, I right, it's getting there. How, what's it's your percentage from the field? Uh, probably a twenty five. All right, bet. I'm like twenty five. I'm definitely gonna hit one out of four. Yeah, cool. Okay. But I'm practicing, and like I said, I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing the basketball uh, days on Sundays. I want to start it in May for real. Yeah, yeah. we are gonna see. I'm gonna keep y'all in tune and yeah, shit. That yeah. would be super. Be dope. Uh, I dodged a bullet this week at the, <laughs> at the auto repair man. Yo, oh no, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Uh, it was literally after we did the pod last week. I got in the car, I started hearing a grinding noise. Grr, grr, grr. Riding up. I'm like, oh, yeah. should I take my shit to the shop? So you know, like with cars, you, you, you don't, if you ignore it, it's going to get worse. Way worse. It's not like when you hear something, you got to do it now because it's only going to get worse. Really. Yeah. You're not going to just forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I took it up there. I thought I was going to have to get all new rotors, yeah. and like brake pads or some shit like that. But dude was like, nah, you good. It was just some rust, like corrosion around your shit. I had to sand it off, yo. Mm. I thought I was going to drop like 700 for yeah. real. But nah, it ended up being decent for real. So cool. I was in there like, thank God, yo. Yeah, because isn't all of the work on your car more like expensive? Because yeah. you got the foreign joint. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I got a Volkswagen. I mean, isn't a little foreign, bit. Though? It is. It is. It yeah. is. It's definitely the oil change costs more for sure. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it crazy for like your brakes and stuff? No, it's not that. Oh, okay. Bad. It's an economy car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, economy car. car. car in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every time we do, every time we do the podcast early, something. Something uh, crazy happened in hip hop, man. I, Cause I did not know this J Cole shit was all about to happen when we did the pod last week. You couldn't weekend. even wait. That wasn't. Even <laughs> yeah, no recipes. Yeah, we were gonna talk about music OJ first. Music yeah. first. 
Oh yeah, I, I mean, shit, that ties well, now in Now it's too. too late, go ahead <laughs> G <laughs> I woke up the next day to a J. Cole album And they was talking about he was dissing him I was like, yeah, I gotta listen to this shit And it was hard And they did the Dreamville Fest Remember I told you That uh, they was doing it. Remember I hit you, I was like, damn, like I forgot the Dreamville Fest is where he definitely gonna say something. He did that apology or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Just fast forward because they, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, that shit bring up a very crazy point to me about like rapping and hip hop and shit. Like, it's crazy how we be wanting blood from niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, wanting niggas to attack each other for real. And J. Cole literally was like, he didn't even really apologize. That's the real point I was trying to make. He really didn't even apologize for anything. He just said that he didn't believe what he was doing. Yeah. So I'm not going to do it. I appreciate the self-awareness for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because we missed that. Like, after this shit, I was like, damn. First, I was mad. I ain't going to (laughs) lie. First, I was mad at him. Then I thought about him like, damn, he the last strand of integrity left in hip hop. Because we already know how left this shit finna go. And yeah, the nigga was literally like, I don't want to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> it don't make sense for him. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, I commend them for doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nobody does that. The yeah. self awareness and the honesty is, just, is cool. You don't see that at all. So I respect it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know a ton about what's going on with them, but <laughs> I do. I do like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point? Like, I think I even said this before. Like, mm-hmm. well, I don't want to hear this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care like that anymore. I don't want to hear them go back and forth. I just want to make cool songs. Yeah. And granted, some of these songs are cool. And I do like the energy. But, like, I'm not trying. I just want to hear cool shit. I don't want to hear y'all talk shit about each other. But the you know? thing is, the, ones, friends. the, one, the yeah. ones that we do think is cool... It's, on, it's niggas that really actually don't like each other. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The ones that we love, the yeah. we love is from motherfuckers that like, if I see you, I don't like you type shit. Yeah, I definitely heard that like J. Cole verse or whatever, and I was like, you don't believe that shit. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that I don't think he, uh, I don't, not that I don't think that he don't believe, what he was saying that he don't, like, don't believe but it's just like, gee, why am I even doing it? I actually like you. Like, I yeah, got nothing. That's what I'm saying. That's you know what, what I mean. Saying? Yeah. I don't have, I, I actually like you, G. So why would I do that for real? Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's fucked up. They're like, that's the first thing we all want to see for real. Like, yeah. I feel like drama sells though. You yeah. Know? Like, I don't, I, it's hard for do. me to like get wrapped in like that because yeah. I just feel like the, 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 the integrity doesn't sell. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, there's a reason. Like the like they want blood. Like yeah, because that sells. Like people like people want to see niggas fight. Like it's yeah. it's not always yeah. about just like like rapper beef though. Yeah. Like niggas just want to see people fighting <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Like violence and all of that. That like sells. Like they want that. Not niggas working it out and shaking hands. Uh, like no. that's nothing to write about. Yeah. Like, it's and, just, uh, Oh, oh shit. Go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah, and that's another reason why I fucked with it. Cause you completely right. Cause like J. Cole was sell, he knew he had the album coming out. He knew if he did that shit, he, his shit would go skyrocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He know that shit. But it's just like I like niggas that make music for the nick for their fans for real. Like yeah. I'm not making music for you to hear this shit and be like, fuck Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? That's not why I make music. I make music for the people that's fuck with me. And at his level, he ain't gotta do that shit because people gonna fuck with him anyway. Yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the drama thing is real. It's like, you know, we like Everybody watches reality TV, but this is like reality TV, but I'm, this is not what I want from that cast. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want Summer House, you know, starring J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. I like y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a Vanderplump, (laughs) whatever. Vanderplump rules from y'all niggas, bro. Vanderplump, Vanderplump Drake. and (laughs) Squash the shit and make more cool songs together, please. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, we are rather, we are rather, Pay more interest to two niggas trying to t- trying to take each other down than if two niggas made the song together and it was hot. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would have definitely gotten forgot about mm-hmm. in three days for sure. And then and then today the plot thickened even more because <laughs> future drop. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickened even more. <laughs> he repeated it. <laughs> 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 Cause, cause, what thinking <laughs> the plot <laughs> cause Future and Metro Boomin dropped a new album today called We Still Don't Trust Your Ass Nigga <laughs> that's not what it's <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking dead, y'all. And, and like me wow. and me and Jamal was up. We was up uh, making music last night. Jamal left right around eleven, so I was like, I can't wait. <laughs> Play this shit. I need to see what's gonna happen. Get out of here, Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> you, call you, you call your car yet? <laughs> <laughs> your car. <laughs> My bad, P. Go ahead. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, I put on the future album and I turned it on and I was like, this a disco album? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck with it <laughs> It's like uh, I mean all, it, it came out today I didn't really like Deep dab and listen To all of the songs On the first half of it Because it's a double disc It's a, a, a real Like a song of what It's gotta be like 15 15 to 20 songs And then they got Five songs at the end for this Yeah one. it's definitely uh, Jam packed I was reading <laughs> something About that And they were like They definitely could have Shaved this shit down <laughs> For <laughs> real like can, this, can this please stop bro Like That's, they, they, that's two they, albums Yeah What yeah, did they yeah. say They said That'll take the runtime, nearly one hour and thirty minutes. That's is crazy. crazy. That's a movie. <laughs> That's yeah. a movie for real. That's a movie for real. I mean, future he be, he been talking about putting out movies. So. Yeah, and they said Don't they do that. just they already dropped a <laughs> seventeen that, nah. song album. Yeah. But like these songs, from what I skimmed through the first half, what I heard, they more like uh be you know how future has this pop bag. We forget that future does have that bag yeah. for real. And like they got the weekend on that bitch, and then guess what, Bailey? Guess who else popped up on that bitch? Ooh. J Cole. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I looked up like what I the fuck? Known. Oh wow, wow, well, wow! Well, well. Vinny just uh, walked into the room. Yeah, what up? Drop. Yeah, <laughs> I put that. I'm like, I know this ain't J Cole or this soul for real. The song is smooth. The song is smooth. He went crazy. It's he a long went, song too. Yeah, and he actually didn't even say nothing loud on the song. Yeah. Me. But I'm thinking, I'm like, J. Cole probably knew. He was like, damn, I already gave Future this verse. Yeah. Drake don't even know I gave Future this verse. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, though. It is. Yeah, like, I love all of it. It my, sounds like old Future. Yeah, that clientele song is a fan. masterpiece. No, yeah, that's the second half. That's the second oh, half. Okay. The diss 2 is that part right there. Oh, yeah. I'm confused, man. The diss 2 literally, Too much going it on. literally sent me back to astronaut status. I was like, where's the ESCO drop? <laughs> yeah, <period>. DJ ESCO. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where is it? It was so hard, yo. That, them six hard songs on there, yo. Yeah. The one, clientele, that's probably my favorite one. I don't know the names of the songs yet. I just listened to like, it like an hour ago. Black Meagles School. I get credit, credit, tell that shit so hard. <laughs> and then, uh, he, oh, what's the other one? The clientele. Oh, and uh, all my life, uh, that shit is hard. And he said, on, All my life, I had to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> all my life, I had to grow up. But then, ASAP Rocky is on the last song, This and Drake. That. He's the smoking ace <laughs> and all of this. It's Here Rocky. we go. But, <laughs> this is a but, vocabulary I've never heard out of you in my life. I mean, that's what it was. For We've real. been friends for a we long did, time. I've never heard it. you say smoking ace. Uh, elaborate. <laughs> um, I mean, mean smoking ace. When if y'all remember back when when for the dogs dropped, it's one of them songs on for the dogs. I want to say it's fear of heights. And I remember being in a car ride with Bailey and Evan. I'm like, why is he talking about ASAP Rocky like this? <laughs> On the song when it came out. And I was like, damn, why he talk about Rihanna like this? I'll be mad as hell. <laughs> no one thought about it. Rocky popped up on the thing, yo. What'd he say? It wasn't was nothing really oh, okay. crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't All nothing. of that for nothing. It wasn't nothing really crazy. But I'm just glad Rocky got his lick back. Because oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought it was bogus. Did he when get I... his lick back? You just said he ain't say shit. So, like, <laughs> did he? He said he, did slept, he, really? he, said he slept with Drake, God, baby. He, said he, said he put Aubrey in his place. It don't sound like it. He said he slept with Aubrey, baby mama on the song. I feel like no one oh, cares because wow. everyone's like... I'm like, did Drake, did Drake, 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 before that? <laughs> he was with the girl who's Adonis's mom or whatever. No, they were never together. Oh, well, no. I see, I don't give a fuck. That yeah. thing, I love Drake. I don't give a fuck who these baby mamas are, girlfriends. I never cared who these rappers were sleeping with. Yeah, we're going in like TMZ territory. Yeah, we got to back up a little bit. But they say, they, say, they say Drake got a song and we waiting for that shit to come out. Damn, I kind of skipped over Cole album. Cole album hard as shit. Yeah. Like, uh, I played a little bit for y'all. 
that pie song with Daylight Bailey. Do you know who Daylight is? No. He said Daylight is this battle rap nigga. He like a crazy ass battle. He got the spawn mass tattooed on his face. <laughs> he he'll do like some shit. He'll do like some shit and battle you and like and like bring a coffin or something out. <laughs> 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 and have like obituaries. <laughs> have like obituaries at the you get there and it's obituaries spooky. everywhere. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> <laughs> he like he like once he got didn't he get like in trouble for like trying to shit on the stage or some Ooh, shit? Excuse me, they like the same guy. Yeah, they like crazy for real, but he can rap. Yeah, he can super rap. Do you, is that a thing, Jimmy? Is that, am I remembering that right? Shitting on niggas for real. <laughs> I feel like he was like, but like he like one of he the like one of like the top battle rap niggas for real. Yeah, he is sick. He's but that pie song I was playing, I was telling you Nate with uh, I was like. Cold black that or that shit. Yeah, it was he awesome. made the beat. He had Av Solo in there, and uh, them niggas went back to back first, and that shit was crazy. Like this is one of the craziest verses I heard. Like, like lyrics I heard in a song in a minute for real, yo. Yeah, it was fucking sick. Av Solo, Av Solo was going crazy. Cole was going crazy. Cole like blacked out on it. It's like that reminded me why J Cole is J Cole for real. Yeah, I definitely like. It takes me a while to listen to new shit. So it, I kind of have yeah, to have y'all to put me on yeah, that shit was awesome. like it's very awesome. Now yeah. I'm gonna go home and like listen to it for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got to for real. Got to. That's all I've been listening to all week for real. Yeah. Um, we also listened to a Glorilla album. We listened to Glorilla album before we came over here. She's so awesome. Yeah, I'm, I didn't even know she. It was her full album she dropped. I said it came out last week, but we didn't really talk about music and shit last week. But uh, it actually impressed me for real. <laughs> like I when going into it, I thought. I knew my expectations were, you know what I'm saying? She definitely like popped that shit. She got like storytelling songs on there. Cool. So she, she got a, a real album. About, she got a song about having an affair with the ops. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, go. <laughs> Concept album. I fuck with it. Having I fuck with an her. affair with the ops. <laughs> Sounds like a novella with the phone. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> An affair? The like, plot thickens. Uh, <laughs> it's giving me the dickens. <laughs> Anything else happened in music this week? It was um, a good music week, yo. Um, fuck, what's the what's what's Yachty what's Yachty little crew name? They dropped today too. Concrete Boys. Concrete Boys dropped today. That's why I played the like, uh, caribou song coming in. That's off that new project. Awesome. Yeah. I listen. I start. We me and Jamal always skim through it. I want to, but I'm definitely gonna go back and listen to it. Those kids are good, man. Mm. I like every single one of them. You know, I like the shit I've heard. I'm not like checking for it super super tough, but like for the shit I've heard and like you know little freestyles mm. and clips I see on the internet are all dope. And like I'm glad to see like little crew albums again. Yeah, like I miss that shit. Yeah, like I see CMG did one quite recently, probably like in a year or two. Oh, CMG yeah, yeah, did yeah. one, but like I remember every crew would always drop an album every yeah. year, at least a mixtape or some mm-hmm. shit for real. Like uh. Like I, I used to fuck with Rocky and them with the Cozy Boys. Remember those? Yes, the Cozy, the cozy Boys. Tapes. Cozy tapes. Yeah. Cozy tapes was hard. Our future used to have a our future tapes. What's the greatest of all time um, crew tape or or album? Uh, which one? Uh, Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Oh yeah, Wu Tang. But like you talking about it, like in the you talk about Thirty Six Chambers. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, never mind. Or um, <laughs> fuck. Like, yeah, that wins. Yeah, that's <laughs> I thought y'all were talking about battle rap. G I mean, unit, I would have said uh, Wu Tang, but I was like, I thought y'all were talking about some other shit. Oh, no, no, no. The G Unit for Tapes. Oh, Beg for Mercy. Beg for Mercy was Come hard. On. G, I had school, a poster on my wall. I had two of them CDs. I had yeah. to buy another one. Yeah. I scratched it up. Damn, I remember you could destroy music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to get another one because I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Man. It's just like put it back in the case. Oh my soul, put it in the sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Ice, yeah. Where's the binder? Ass. The yeah. binder. I Shout out to Case Logic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, G. Hope y'all are doing all right. Carrying that shit. I used to carry that shit. Every so day. did I. The biggest yeah. flex I had. Yeah. Well, like a championship <laughs> belt. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Like my, my, oh, what did you need? <laughs> I probably got some for that. Yeah. Maybe. I had yeah. the. I had the big boy. I had the big boy yeah. with the solid case with the zipper. You had the Zip that yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Hard case. I, Weaving in traffic. <laughs> trying to get that perfect. Did they all have a zipper? Them yeah. shits would fly out if you yeah. had no zipper on oh your shit. Oh no. Oh, one of them J. Cole songs, he got a line where he was like, 
He was like, your album was trash. I littered it like I couldn't spell it. And I was like, I ain't thought about throwing a CD out the window in a long time, yeah. bro. I ain't thought about littering somebody's album. It's so long. <laughs> Like, don't you remember you would go to a show and niggas be like, oh, just take my CD, take my CD, I'll put that shit in. Like, this shit trash. <laughs> I don't litter, so I've never done that before. I be, I used to be littering niggas. Yeah. Just like throw it in front of the whip so I can run it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after warp tour or some shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no Damn. need to litter. I would have yeah. just thrown no, it away. Gotta, like, why it. are you doing the most? Like, <laughs> I might as well just throw this out in traffic. Because you're young and you think you know everything. Nah, you so you're like, litter. yo, this shit sucks. You got to litter a nigga album if it's trash for real. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> you know, like, I ain't got no, I ain't got space. Well, I'm going to do this shit. That's I remember our, I used to have that's CDs. That's a recycling all, campaign. I used to have CDs all in between my seats and shit. I used to find shit like, I ain't seen this in a minute. Yeah. Throw that bitch in. See, that's what we miss for real. We don't get that no more with the street era. Like, when you find some shit like, damn, I ain't seen this shit in a minute. Yeah. And you throw that bitch in. It's all <laughs> scratch. And it's th- 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 the remix. <laughs> it's like a hardcore band. <laughs> <laughs> I had some rare CDs back in the day, boy. I had CDs with, I had CDs with, 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 uh, Lord Quaz, Lord Quaz, Winds of Plague, and Robin Thicke all on one CD. Hard, hard. I love a compilation. I love a compilation CD. I put at least two albums on my CD. Hell yeah. <laughs> my CD Did you label. write all the shit on there? Yeah. 50 Cent, I, I had my Nelly. <laughs> It'll be labeled for real. Yeah, I used to have like comp. I used to make compilation albums. I would call them X because they were all like hardcore. Right? X number Sick. one, X number yeah. two. I got up to forty for real. Damn, <laughs> I want to find them. Yeah, fuck those now CDs. <laughs> yeah, I need some of them X CDs. I couldn't even tell you what my CD book said, boy. I couldn't even tell CDs you. CDs nuts. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that shit probably still in my old car. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I yeah, definitely had yard. mine for a very long time. Like, definitely brought it into this crib. Damn, for real. Yeah. Or into the the crib where I was staying with you, Perry, and mm. then probably ended up getting rid of it because like the binding yeah. the pages started flying out. And then also, what are you gonna do with all these fucking CDs? Like, can't I got mine CDs. somewhere. I need to find them. J, do you remember? Uh, yeah, I say this before the break. Remember when niggas used to had uh, the radio transmitter thing to play the music in the car? <laughs> yeah. What? Do you remember that shit? The, pu- that the shit pushing was thing, ass boy. <laughs> the pushing it thing. Was, nah, it's a thing. You used to put the thing when iPods first came out. You used to have to. It was to be a little box. You push in your iPad, iPod, right? And then it's, it have a radio station, a blank radio station. Oh, uh, yeah. The cops will roll turn. by and it will fuck it up. It'll go. Yeah, you will pull up to a nigga that got a frequency with yours and you will hit yeah, that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you have to turn into a radio <laughs> station so and it'll play what was on your iPod for real. That shit, you was ass, bro. I brought so, I wasted so much money in my life on buying them bitches for real. And I remember I used to be like, maybe if I bought a more expensive one, <laughs> Alas. it'll work better. False. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was ass. If niggas ain't had to tape, the tape, the tape, Tape ox, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The cassette niggas ain't had that. It was lounge. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Those are hard. One. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we're really aging ourselves right now. I know, Holy right? shit. Yeah. The fucking radio station. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're veterans in this game, baby. <laughs> Been, uh, not new to this. True to this. Yeah, man. So uh, the most random thing that happened this week, R.I.P. O.J. Simpson. Yeah, Damn, that was I, like such a random thing when it popped up on my OJ. phone. I say it, man. The internet going crazy. I say it. R.I.P. O.J. Man. For I real. mean, he's still just a man who died. But I did want to ask you guys, like, do you guys think he did it? Hell, I mean, probably did. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he did it too. But, but nah, but nah, man. But Don't he, be, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, he won, but he won the case and. And on top of that, I'm about to uh, say, they justice system. Y'all <laughs> yeah. justice system said it. <laughs> yeah. And also on top of that, like shout out to Cam and Mace. That's dude. what I was saying. Like, they really gave him like a really dope outlet, and and people really saw him in a different what he light. About. You know, he know what he's talking about? Yeah, him. he's his like his football IQ or whatever. So it's like yeah. is is awesome. You know? So if y'all he's, don't know on uh, Cam and Mace's uh. 
the sports show they have every morning. It is what it during is. During football season. Yeah, it is what it is. During football season, they have, like, OJ as, like, a reoccurring correspondent, for mm-hmm. real. <laughs> I'll be watching that shit. Like, yeah. OJ know what he's talking about, for real. Yeah, it's just, like, people didn't, you know, people always kind of saw him as, like, you know, whatever happened. And then, like, a big thing within the black community is, like, people really kind of, like, Pegged him as like an Uncle Tom for real. Yeah, you know that was and that was even before the thing. I mean, remember, remember that yeah. OJ documentary that yeah. had came out. Yeah, everybody so like, was watching. Yeah, I didn't know none of that shit about OJ because I was a little kid when that shit happened. Yeah, but like it, it's just dope that Cam and Mace gave him that platform for people mm-hmm. to see him in a different light. You know, whatever whatever happened, people deserve a second chance. He beat the shit, so so you know, exactly beat him. That was they, <laughs> that's y'all justice system. That yeah. said he beat him. Yeah, um, <laughs> let him alone. be. Yeah, leave him alone. Let that man rest in peace. So yeah, yeah, big, yeah big, rest in peace, OJ. Yeah, man. Big, big, big rest in peace. One of the best football players of all time, for real. Yeah, he took that shit to the grave. Yeah, they tried to lie. <laughs> they tried to lie and yeah, say I saw that. Show, I was like, this is cap. I'm like, why are they tweet? doing that? Yeah. I was I like, I know tweet. that's cap. <laughs> I was like, y'all, did, it was a tweet. And I, I literally saw it. And I was like, they didn't even put the verified thing. They didn't even Photoshop the verified thing in there. <laughs> yeah, like obviously not OJ. Oh. They had a tweet that was like, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so... Oh, wait, you're talking about a tweet. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, I thought you were talking... Hell. Like, I read an article. Because like, I wanted this. to believe that's what he did. Like, that's what I wanted to believe. Then he would tweet <laughs> with his, like, laugh. His last breath. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted him. Hand me my phone. <laughs> yeah. Come close. Open up X. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it closer. Actually, type this in for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really wanted it to be that for real, but I was like, this cap, they ain't got to verify it. They ain't somebody lazy. It's a lazy meme maker out there, yo. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so, what are we talking about? Yo, so uh, that dude, um, he's uh, he talks a lot about marketing and, like, you know, fashion and style. It's uh, Bimma Williams or whatever. It's Perry sent us this uh, clip earlier this week. And he was just, like, giving flowers to Joe Fresh Goods for being, like like, one of the top three storytellers with his releases and um i think it's dope i like i really like it was a great watch um and i totally agree like you know especially with this like latest drop like um i forget the name of it, how how things were maybe i'm like misspeaking but like the whole campaign was like old chicago like basement parties hell yeah Ju- Pe- Ju- Ju- people Ju- juking like i love joe fresh goods and don and virgil rest in peace because like through everything they did and all the big shit that they do, it's so Chicago. Exactly. I love it for real. It's so fucking Chicago. And I just like I have the utmost respect for them. It makes me like proud to be, you know, to proud to live here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've been here for nine years. I feel like a Chicagoan. And I feel that, you know, I, I probably I wasn't there for the, the for the basement parties. I don't know how to, you know, juke. I don't know. Yeah, y'all I, didn't know about but, holding your man's up. <laughs> That's true. what that was happening back but, then. But I just like, you know, I have, you know, family from here. And I just like, I don't know. It makes me proud to be from here. And oh. I wanted to ask y'all, like, you know, with him, like his whole thing is like storytelling through fashion. Like, do you guys feel like. Y'all are trying to t- tell a story through your art or style at Hell all. Yeah. Like maybe yeah. Right, let, like for- I think I think that's even what make it art in the first place. That's the difference between like between like art and like I mean I guess you could tell a story through design too, but design is more anybody else's story like I feel like when you're making art for real, you just making it for yourself for real. And like mm-hmm. you wanna get a react like you trying to bring somebody to a place. Yeah, you feel me? Exactly. Make you visualize it, whether it be a pain or a song. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And hell yeah, I feel like I do that shit. <laughs> yeah. I try to have a concept behind everything. That's why I don't even drop music like that because I could just rap on it, beats. But I'd be wanting to like try to have a concept behind. It. Me and Jamal yeah. was talking about that shit yesterday for real. Yeah. What was we saying? We was like, uh, we was talking about that future shit. I was like, uh, future got a future concept album is uh let's all hate on drake <laughs> like, yeah. but it's a continuity between it you know what i'm yeah. saying like i think of all albums like that yeah I, I respect that i respect you too bailey with your art you know what i mean like i feel like every time you like drop a collection of pieces it's like you know you like you, you'll drop a collection and it's like very black you know what i mean or you, like what you did um in in october yeah. Like I love the continuity and I like definitely respect it and I like love how you like tell the story and you can like look at those paintings and really like see what you're thinking, you know what I mean? Yeah, thanks, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, uh well to for style wise, I would like to say that I do try to tell a story now because Perry has uh, <laughs> instilled that in my head. Like, what yeah. are you trying to say, baby, uh-huh. with your outfit? Yeah. So I'd be thinking of like 
one kind of feeling. Uh huh. Like, uh, even if it's like, uh, like, you know, it, like, it was like, if we were thinking about like the Giselle episode, like yeah. where she was just like, what did she say? Like high school loser. Hi, uh, like t- uh, 2000s loser. 2000s loser. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd be having like one of those days or I'd yeah. be like, yeah, how do I dress like LA girlfriend? Yeah, and that's I like a that. thing. You yeah. know what I say? Yeah. Like, I'd be like, hmm, like I won't get, I like, I won't have the blonde hair, but it's like the. Like the the Billie Eilish kind of, yeah. I hate it so crazy. No, I know what you mean loud. though. I know what you, you mean. Know That's what not corny. But I'm like, oh yeah, if I wear this, she like goes crazy. This, it'll be like a LA girlfriend kind of casual outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I was an LA girlfriend, what would I be wearing? Mm-hmm. And then go off that. Or if I just want to be like a a crusty little punk kid, yeah. I'm like what's the smallest, holiest, uh, dingiest yeah. black T-shirt that I have? Yeah, I'm gonna get that off with like some, some hard jeans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some like, yeah, pants. I woke I woke up listening to punk. I yeah. I feel like being punk today. <laughs> yeah, I'm for sure. Sure. <laughs> put on your fucking dogs yeah. and uh, get it cracking. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> I I be feeling like. Uh, what make good art is just like the intention behind it and be, be, intention behind everything that it is. Yeah. For real. Like if it's an album, like all the songs are intended to be listened to each other and they have a, some, some sort of like story that go to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like whatever message you're trying to get across. And like you, you and I love when niggas like use everything that they can, whether it be like uh, write a poem in the little bio section of the album. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like everything's a canvas for real. Yeah, yeah. And even like when niggas like dumb down they raps and shit, but you say a certain words for a reason. Like as long as you try to do everything for a reason that pull to that story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I love that shit. Yeah, know? for sure. And I feel like with style for me, like, I, I mean, I like, I've said this before. I have a bunch of different ones, I think. And like, of course I have like all these like little like, you know, personal like rules that I don't put on anybody or anything but like personal rules like you know I'm not gonna wear like an Adidas shirt with Nikes or anything like that but yeah I just like I just go with like how I feel right when I wake up and even like as a kid like growing up skating and stuff like Mm. like when it comes to like these little rules like growing up skating and shit like I would do little shit like I would never wear like a four-star shirt Maddox jeans and like an Elwood hat you know what I'm saying (laughs) I'd have to get, I'd have to do like the board brand. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like it's a little shit. Like I have to do the board brand, the truck brand, you know, and it all have to like go together because like when I'm sitting at home watching a skate video, I'm, I want to get dressed like I'm sponsored. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I so just because I'm 11 years old and I'm like, you know, trying to like Ollie a three stair for like three hours, I'm still pulling up to it. Like I'm a pro skateboarder. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's also one of my looks too. Like, uh, Skateboarder. <laughs> You're like, hmm, what can I put together? Yeah, with this? Make, your own, make your own character on Tony yeah, Hawk. Yeah, I'd be switching out the vans. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But Joe, Joe is really good at that. And he's also just like a really true Chicago nigga. So, like, he yeah. can really tell all of these stories because he has some years on him and, like, he's been around for all of this. He's really yeah. been out here in the streets. Yeah. So like, really had, like, like has the real feel for Chicago, so I do feel like all of his stuff that he puts out, yeah. I absolutely agree with that. Even up to his like the way those pop ups are set up, like yeah, he's very like they he's got it down yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yo, I be. I be feeling like niggas be like invalidating their own stories and shit and not realizing that <laughs> yes. that your story is yeah. worth just as much as anybody yeah. else's story and shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, like you say, it's super Chicago and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just do what, you, what was in your life for real. Yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? and what's really dope that shit can be just as incredible. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And what's really dope about him is like it's super Chicago, but it's not. It doesn't cheapen Chicago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's not doing shoes that are like a not, Chicago White Sox colorway. Or you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, like the yeah. skyline. No, or, it's just like these little things that are so fucking Chicago that oh, I fuck yeah. with. Super tough. So oh, yeah. big shout out to Joe. Yeah, what the last? The last one was belly. Everything was belly. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Who yeah. does that? Yeah. yeah. And doesn't make it corny. Yeah, like yeah. Gee, that's what I've said. It you don't know even whack belly shit. Like, it don't even <laughs> matter what the it don't even matter what the like concept of what you're doing is, as long as you keep everything cohesive and yeah. you and you can get across like a feeling, yo, that's what it is yeah. for real. Yeah, for sure. I'll wear those shoes and feel like Nas, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Period. Like, you know, walking Where's through the club. my Averex fucking <laughs> jacket, man? For sure. Oh, yeah. We was, uh, when we was talking about that J. Cole shit, and, like, I be feeling like niggas be, I be feeling like niggas be too worried about, like, being hard and shit because, have you seen the shit with, uh, 
like people paint their nails and shit. Rappers yeah. paint their nails. You seen that shit? Yeah, I see a lot of that shit. And I'm like, damn, like it's crazy that like a nigga could do a nigga could stand in front of people and do what he uh do what he believe in and that's looked at as like lamp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I don't know, G. I, I yeah. came into this shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. It's like, you know, people have this stance where it's like black men are, you know. I mean, it starts with black men. Of course, it's everybody, but just men are too feminine. That's quote unquote gay or like whatever the fuck it is. Like, mm-hmm. it's paint, bro. Yeah, yo. <laughs> yeah, my nail is painted right now and I will throw them bitches. Yeah, yeah. because like. I got- I feel like it's something. Oh, you were you were a fan with them? Yeah. I feel like it's something new with black people. I feel like black people act like we ain't never seen this shit before. Like I've been painting my nails since yeah. ever. Bailey used to know I'd be like, Bailey, uh, let yeah. me get that that blue. That Perry. Black people act like they don't. Like, yeah, exactly. Black people act like they don't like Prince or Michael Jackson. What are we talking yeah. about? What? On my soul, for real. Yeah. But the thing is, is like I feel like motherfuckers are just be doing it to be doing it, but like don't even really understand that like. Like, you ever seen me be like, oh, why you paint your nails? And be like, I like it. No, you nigga, you supposed to paint your nails because it make y'all mad. That's the reason <laughs> that you start painting your... It's like a rebellious act. But like, we, in high school and shit, that's all I do. It's rebellious. Yeah. Fuck y'all. But wait, huh? how, do you, how do you hold people to... Because we've talked about this before, talking about different things. Can you hold people to that? Because why the fuck not? Why can't a dude just be like, because I wanted to? Yeah, that's how I feel. I you actually, know what I'm I don't, saying? Not I don't, be like, oh, because I want it to be like, yeah. I'm just I saying, love making you niggas mad. No, you know, I'm I love just, saying yeah. that I'm pussy and I'm soft <laughs> but and I'm, I'm just, not. At, th- at 36, I don't feel that same way. Yeah. I can, I can I mean, understand yeah, I that in so high school when exactly. I'm wearing girl jeans, for sure. But at 36, it just looks hard with the rings and shit. <laughs> but that's like the gatekeeping. Because what, to- what you're talking about is like the younger people are doing it now. They uh, won't know that what you're talking about, that rebellion. But you can't take that away from them. You should be happy that they're doing no, it. I am happy that they do it. It sounds yeah. like you was mad, but <laughs> no, I'm just saying because they they don't know how to approach it for real. Like how? You said, what is the you, way to approach it? Because I do it so y'all could get mad, so y'all could have these reactions. That's why that y'all you have. did it. I know, but I'll just yeah. say, but that's where it come yeah. from, though. Yeah. It come from that, though. That's the history behind it, for real. I guess, like to your point, a little bit when I do shit like this, like. You know, like, you know, I wear, like, a shoulder bag and, like, totes and shit like that. And motherfuckers be like, oh, that nigga's wearing a, rocking a purse. I do. And I do. <laughs> I do see people. I'm like, I, a part of me is like, I hope this is, like, annoying to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, sure. like, when you in your yeah. rebellious age, yeah. bro. And like Still that's even what, now. If I'm wearing that's ju- what it is, bro. Yeah. I feel like the shit is happening, the exact shit that you should want to happen. Yeah. You should be wanting to get bad. And, like, they don't realize that that's why p- niggas used to do, do that shit. The yeah. niggas you got it from, do it for Yeah. Y'all want to hear a funny story? I had a random funny story about paying my nails, Jude. <laughs> Please do tell. So back when we used to do posture, like the little label and shit we had, we were doing like interviews with Revolt. They were like with us for the weekend and they uh-huh. were like following us around with cameras. And they built like a uh, like a little confessional in the back to like interview us and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, before we went, I ain't had no nail polish. And I was like, I got to have my nails painted. I had a Sharpie. I already knew you <laughs> were going to yeah. say that shit, bro. I had Sharpie my shit, right? Yeah. And like, <laughs> I remember this fucking story. He died. And like, at, trying to be on like some some like cool shit. Like, I was, I went to the store. Let me bring. I'm gonna bring oranges to the shit and just be eating an orange while they. Mysterious ass nigga, bro. Alas. <laughs> so I sit down. I sit down in the booth. They talk to me. Woo, I'm talking. I got my legs crossed. I'm peeling, I'm peeling the orange. And as I'm peeling the orange, I look and I'm like, I can see the marker going off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, oh, shit. By the end of it, like the marker was all over. It was all black on the thing. Even more mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> he oh loves the God. taste of ink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That's so hilarious. Shout out to the used. (laughs) (laughs) I definitely have done that before. Yeah, for sure. I've definitely, absolutely, 100% done that. But have you guys ever (laughs) went through that whole phase where 
this wasn't cool, right? Yeah. Like you had to paint your nails black and then figure out how to chip them bitches. Yeah. So, so it, it looks look, a little weird. Yeah. So it like damn near to drag your yeah. hands on the concrete. Yeah, like, I would rub my shits on my skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Just to make it look like I didn't paint my nails. Yeah. Who who keeps up with this stuff? Yeah. Like my girlfriend made me do it. Yeah. This is like two weeks old, man. It's been chipping. Been Fresh. chipping. Been chipping. <laughs> Not, not, not the fresh fill. <laughs> and like low key, like I always paint my nails because I bite my nails, and I was like, Same. it stopped me from biting my nails. Yeah. For real. I'm doing that. I'm working on that right now. Yeah, I gotta get it. I should get yeah. my shit. I got some nail polish. Let's you guys go. are feeling <laughs> feeling <laughs> adventurous. Oh yeah, man! Shout out to Drip Collective right now, by the way, bro. Oh yeah, Dude, Oof, they're yeah. going dumb, Ty. stupid, crazy. <laughs> yeah, shout, shout out to, the to them. Ty, Dude, what the are you doing? The horns, Barry. The horns. <laughs> Hey, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I was up there. I went up there. They had an event. Uh, Are you pulled last up? week? I pulled up. They had like a little flower, comp- flower mm-hmm. throwdown competition. They were making like little like like arrangements and shit, battling each other for a cash prize. It was That's fire hard. for real. It was super dope for. It was thick as hell in that yeah. bitch for real. It like, always damn. is. Yeah, yeah, yo, it yeah. was thick as hell in that bitch. But it was it was fun. Y'all ever seen the show Full Bloom on HBO? Nah. Uh. Uh-uh. It's like a uh, it's like a reality show. They be battling each other, making floral arrangements. That's it was hard. like that. It was like that. Full moon was fire, but it was definitely like that. And they had like the whole what thing like projected on the wall and shit for the people in the back that couldn't see it. They had pizza from the novel pizza dudes. Shout out to them. That's awesome. I love to see it. Yeah, uh, looking on Instagram, I haven't gone to one of their events yet. I'm gonna pull up. I promise you guys. But yeah. it definitely always looks very like full house, and I love that for them. Like yeah. very successful events. Yeah, they doing a lot of shit this weekend. For the Expo Expo Hell yeah Oh yeah okay. They're just like It seems like they're doing Something every oh, yeah. weekend Yeah you know, They're every exceeding day. everything A coffee shop does In every way Yes To like the 10th power yeah. It's Hell nuts yeah. yeah If y'all ain't been there yet Go fuck with them yeah. They right off a of racing And Lake for y'all yeah, shout out to Ty because he said that he wanted it to be like this and listen. And what the fuck? Won't he fucking do it, bro? <laughs> oh my gosh We love to see it Shout out Drip Collective And the whole Drip family for Hell y'all. yeah <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what else we got on? We in a sports minute. <laughs> <laughs> Since we last talked, the NCAA, bum, bum, bum. The NCAA double A uh, tournament is over with. Oh, yeah, that shit. Uh, <laughs> Kaylin, Kaylin Clark Do is tell. playing her last game. Yeah, shout out to Iowa. Her. Yeah, shout out to her, yo. Kaylin was going stupid, oh bro. Oh my god! I had a, uh, I watched the one, the uh, LSU game. I was at, I was at my boy Composure Squad, Korea. He had a projector. We put the LSU That's game. That's ill. Oh yeah. And like, I remember, as soon as that game started, I seen her face. They was losing at first. I seen her face. Oh, she ain't gonna let them lose this game for real. <laughs> Because like that's the only thing. If she would have won that, she she ended up losing in the finals to um who would they lose to South Carolina. South Carolina who undefeated had, season, who had which an is undefeated nuts. season, which is crazy yeah. for real. Damn, which is super crazy for real. But like she damn near the greatest college athlete of all time. Right, shit. not just like basketball, but more of people all time. More people were tuned in to um women's uh, NCAA basketball than like the I finals. saw so, than the finals. It was like, it was the finals. But like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, <clears throat> I know we're not sports. I don't want to get too deep into it, pause. But like, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, <I heard. laughs> but um, man, it's just it's sick to see. Like, I just like I'm loving the future of women's basketball. Yeah. bro. like I can't wait. The NBA, the WNBA is about to be fucked up. Yeah, yo, G. Uh, they you see they hating on her. The WVA already hating on Kaylee, yo. All the WVA stars, they all think she gonna translate. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah, I. <laughs> she was like, she was pulling up from half court type shit, <laughs> pulling she up for no not, reason. She not playing with motherfuckers for real. I fuck with CC, yo. We was in, when we was at the uh, uh, we was at the CC. park the other day. I was CC like, Kaylee, like, Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, G. She got the most points of all time, men or women, yeah. most points ever. She goes stupid for real. Bro, I can't wait. Let's go to some WB, yeah. WNBA games this yeah, year, the, bro. Yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah, we definitely going to be us all. We definitely going to be us all. We got the right plug. Right. Chicago yeah. Sky. Plug. Chicago <laughs> Sky. Yeah, I'm trying to see the Chicago Sky and Dallas Wings. True. Hell yeah. Yeah, that shit going to be crazy. And the, uh, the dudes tournament, who won? UConn won. Mm-hmm. I think UConn won. Evan called it from the Starfield. Evan, yeah. did you win money? 
Yeah, man. Devin <laughs> win money. I don't know. He definitely know he definitely had on his bracket this. UConn for real. Oh, oh. sick. He but might like, have made a little check. Who cares about the men's? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was boring as yeah. hell. Bro. The women's was going crazy for yeah. real this year. It's all shooters, like <laughs> yeah, yo, that shit. Uh, the, the NBA, the NBA playoffs is locked in. Chicago <clears throat> Bulls. We got uh, we got the Hawks. First round of the play in tournament, yo. Yeah, y'all out of there. Nah, fuck that. We gonna beat the Hawks. <laughs> We finna beat the we gotta beat the Hawks, it's bro. We better y'all. than the Hawks. Every time we play the Hawks, I'll be like, I do sumo better than Trey Young, bro. Oh God. Tripping. We gonna beat the Hawks. But uh the, it's See real scary. The What's real scary in the East <laughs> for us is that the next game, cause uh the the other so this is how the play in work. Y'all don't know how the play in tournament work. It's a uh it's a it's a battle for the last two slots in the playoffs, right? Mm-hmm. So it's the seven. The seven seed, the eight seed, the nine seed, and the ten seed, right? First, the seven and the eight seed will play each other. The winner of that game will automatically get the seven seed of the playoffs, right? Yeah. The loser of that game will go on to play the winner of the nine and the ten game, which is what the Bulls is in, the Hawks. Mm-hmm. But uh, the seven and the eight is Philly and Miami. <sighs> oh, man. It's looking rough. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get in to play the Celtics. <laughs> Damn, in a series, they're, Just staying, they're staying right here. But shout out the shout out to fucking uh the Dallas Mavericks. I'm sorry, I'm boy. talking shit. No, it's all good, man. It's lounge. It's lounge. I can't, I can't. I can't even sit here. I'll be doing myself a disservice sitting here thinking that we had a chance. But the Dallas Mavericks, y'all lined up. Y'all got a uh, clinch the playoffs by no playing tournament for y'all. Um, Kyrie, I mean, uh, Luca should be nominated for MVP this year. Seven thousand percent. One hundred percent. Kyrie been going crazy. He had a fit, but he had a fifty point game this 48. week. Forty eight point game this week. But uh, y'all got y'all rivals, y'all favorites lined up in the first round of the playoffs. The Los Angeles Clippers. <laughs> yeah, we be all right. Yeah, I mean, look, they got Russ. They got Paul George, James Harden. Kai, uh, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, okay. Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi All right, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> no, for real, I'm excited oh. for it because that's like y'all yeah, rival. I didn't even realize that yeah. was y'all rival yeah. until y'all told until yeah. you pointed it out to me. I'm like, yeah, that is y'all yeah, fucking them rival. In Phoenix. Did you guys hear about the statue? The Iverson shit. Oh. They did my nigga AI wait, bogus as hell. Yeah, uh, so wait, they wrong okay. as hell, bro. So they were saying. And if you guys don't know this, they've uh, given Allen Iverson his own statue, as they already should have. However, if you look at the picture, I was like, when I read the article, I was like, oh, okay, it's lit. Then when I looked at the picture, it's like Allen Iverson, and then I saw his statue, and it was like... He's, tabletop yeah. size, like yeah, like bro. he could go over and just like hold it like yeah. an action figure, and I was that like, wait, no, yeah, that ain't no, like statue, that's not bro. necessarily, a, that's like a, it's not a bust. But to either, be fair, but look, hopefully it's the prototype. But though. look, no, nah, that ain't the prototype. But they look, did it with Dirk too. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to you, G. Niggas with championships get statues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hold yeah. you for real. Nigga, I mean, yeah, we all love AI, but he don't have a champion. Niggas yeah. like Michael Jordan get a statue. Yeah, I was about to say, we took a picture yeah. in front of that one, and that one was not tiny. Niggas like <laughs> Dirk Nowinski get statues. <laughs> yeah. Niggas that got rings. Kobe Bryant. They said that there were other statues of basketball players that are around that same size. Is that yeah. true? And also, but, I, but and, I'm just yeah. saying, you got to win a championship to get the big one. I understand. But that. also, in, <laughs> also in Philly, there's a big ass statue of Rocky, and that is not a real person. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, that's a really good. Point. That is a fictional character. That's that not, fucking sucks. They got fucking <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. I don't think Sylvester Stallone is from Philly. So larger like. than life and shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is. Is fair. <laughs> like size of him. Well, my statue Allen is Iverson big is as hell. Size of say, him. <laughs> when you win, a, when you win a championship, your statue be bigger than you. Rocky did not win a championship. <laughs> he didn't win a bout for real. He low key did for Philly for real. He put on for Philly. He did the stat. I mean, uh, bum, bum. the tiger. <laughs> is that the bell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the song? Eye of the Tiger, bro. Come on, that's not Eye of the Tiger. That is. I thought that was the Rocky uh, Zone. That is the Rocky Zone. Uh, yeah. Oh, true. My do, bad. Do, 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 that song do, is a track. Do, do, do. It's a hard song. 
Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. If you guys haven't seen Rocky, <laughs> you'll see it this holiday season. <laughs> What is this wannabe challenge? Y'all put me on. Oh, I don't know. I do. Uh, well, I don't know if Perry wants to talk about male to- toxic masculinity, but I only wanted to bring this up. Okay, like you know how, and I see. I can. I'm scared to even ask it because I know that this is a sensitive thing that y'all love attacking. But they be having like these challenges, you know, on Instagram to keep people fucking preoccupied. <laughs> so Megan the Stallion and Glorilla have a song together. It's called like Wanna Be Something. Yeah, with that Soldier Boy sample, that shit hard. Yeah, so then, <laughs> oh, yeah. so like everyone's everyone's like <laughs> twerking to it or whatever. Yeah, so, that, like oh, that's what that's called. Sweeping the nation and I for one, and loving it, okay? Because yeah. I be at work with my brightness all the way down because it's getting <laughs> crazy. I'll be like, damn, god damn. Is you that a lip? Not, you know, dead ass. <laughs> I'm like, god damn. It's definitely crazy, and it's amazing. But I only brought it up because... There's so much crazy backlash from men. Men oh are so like upset. <laughs> right. I'm yeah. so confused. I'm like, I thought y'all niggas love this. But they're like, oh, it goes back to like what you guys are talking about, about like these influencers and stuff like, oh, you're just on the internet shaking your ass. Let them shake ass. Let these bitches do this this challenge and shake ass. Y'all niggas are watching it. Y'all niggas are saving it. It's cr- y'all niggas are loving <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's niggas like, bro, you know what? Why niggas are saving it? <laughs> yeah, but then they would hate. Why you saying so the- horny? <laughs> no, I, said, I said, you know why? We're not gonna act he like said, we don't I know. Saved a few two tree. We ain't gonna act like we ain't gonna act like we don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was just like, bro, like I've like just decided that like I just feel like the internet is not real because like some of this shit that like. <laughs> Some of the shit that people say to shit like that, like this is disgusting, daddy issues, all this dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, they were going fatherless man. behavior. These, are, I, I don't, I've never met a single person who even uses words like that. Yeah. <laughs> this fatherless behavior. If I'm at the bar, my god. If I'm at the bar with the homies, and one of my homies says, like, and the girl walks in with like a, I don't know, a cleavagey shirt, and he goes, fatherless behavior. It's wow. a wrap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm deleting your number right there. I'm getting up and I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just hate. For nothing. Yeah, what are you from Oklahoma City or something? What are we talking about? <laughs> For real. Just weird motherfuckers in West Virginia, in the middle of West Virginia with their phones and nothing else to do. Yeah, for sure. I just didn't, I don't know. Perry's checked out. I see him not caring. What? But no. I just I wanted thinking. to see uh what you guys thought. Only because like the comment section was just like so crazy. Yeah. It's either like hella heart eyes or it was like Men in small sections, like just being so upset. Like, if I see another yeah. motherfucking wanna be, ch- and I'm like, why you love this? Yeah. Like, you love it here. Isn't it funny when dudes like will, <laughs> they'll be all that, and then it'll be like one dude is like, "You look so beautiful today, baby. Can I take you?" <laughs> 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 like she's gonna hit you back. <laughs> yes, please love me. Open oh, shirt. Thank you for the compliment, <laughs> big boy. Get some money out your motherfucker. <laughs> Please send three racks. <laughs> three racks. Oh, my soul. <laughs> shit, we got anything else to get into? Man, that was been a great episode. Yeah, I guess I look not. forward That's to this good. day all week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. I love you guys. I'm glad that I'm still here. I'm glad that I still have my eyeball. <laughs> Mom, I hope you're not yeah. listening to this because I will not be telling you about this until the scar heals. <laughs> Until the stitches are out. Yeah, it's going to look ill, too. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's the Face Value Podcast, episode 244. 244.